Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. In this episode we are having something special and huge thanks to BGS Gaming and also Ipsarb. They provided me the pictures and the footage for this video so thank you both and also check out the BGS Gaming. His channel link will be in the description box down below. It is worth your while. So we got a new chroma pack coming. We have two versions. The white one it is called solar version and the reddish it is called the oracle one only difference between these two of course they are looking different on the slower one you are getting increased heavy damage and in the oracle one you are getting increased light damage but for now let's take a look of the mounts so the fine raven it is called luga so i probably did butcher that one big time so any swedish danish norwegian or icelander if you are watching Please correct me how to say it. But yeah, I think that Raven has been inspired by the Phoenix. Our next up, it is gonna be a new mount looking almost like a fiery Kitsune. But one big difference between Kitsune and this one. Yeah, this one is only having one tail instead of three. The name of the beast, it is Melaraki. In Old Norse, that is actually meaning Arctic Fox or White Fox. Definitely that doesn't look white or arctic by any means but whatever our second leaked set the oracle one by the way this seems to be one of those hoods that doesn't have the cape so that is actually pretty nice pretty interesting that we are seeing more and more of the capeless ones but not complaining and let's dive a little bit deeper with the perks so the full 5 set bonus for this set, equipping only one two-handed weapon will increase speed. Bonus is removed when receiving damage, additional increase to speed when near fire. And that one sounds really interesting, but let's see the gear in action. And by the way, who else doesn't see a Raphael from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in this one? I mean, come on, the mask. Total Ninja Turtle, in my opinion. But yeah, the weapons, well, of course, the carpet has to match drapes. And let's go over, so we are having the new side, and I'm not gonna even try to pronounce the name of the side. But the perk for this weapon, killing an ignited enemy makes your next 5 hits deal critical damage, cooldown 5 seconds. Also, we are getting new mythical spear, the Alfheimer's arm. The perk for this weapon, increase critical damage when near fire, bonus plus 20 critical damage. To be honest, I think I like the white armor set much better than the red and gold one. But the weapons, they are actually pretty cool looking. Gold, red or real blood elf weapons. So yeah, side, good weapon, spear, always overpowered. No new bow, but footage from the VH Gaming. I don't know if that is a new thing or just a bug, so let's see that in slow motion and let me know what you think. I don't think I have ever seen Eivor lifting her or his leg like that ever before, so that might be a new animation, don't know or just a bug. It did look so cool. But yeah, two new armor sets, two weapons, raven skin, and of course the new fox mount that is looking pretty pretty awesome. Can't wait to see when these are coming at Reda. Also, yes, and I believe there will be a naval pack and maybe even the tattoo set be coming with this pack. Well, of course they are gonna be sold separately and those are the first things that are coming to Reda most likely. From the two armor sets, the white one, it is definitely my favorite. I mean, come on, it is more Assassin style than the red one. So definitely that is my favorite. Again, huge thank to VS Gaming once again for this collaboration. It was really fun working with you and let's do it again. And speaking about the again, we have to mention another thing that is coming. And no, I'm not meaning the Thanos aka the elemental master set but the new weapon pack that is also coming so let's take a look shall we so we are getting two handed axe a short sword a spear and of course a second side let's take a look of the perks so 
for the sword sword, demon strike pierces on enemy after a light finisher, only activates when equipped in the main hand, so only the threshold is changing for each weapon, but the perk it is the same and I really think it is similar to the new Hugo runes that we are getting in Swartoheim, like the Einherjar and the Gary that are summoned when the threshold is met. Hopefully more detailed video about this pack in the future, but for now it is time to thank our channel members aka the Elite Wolf pack and let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up and bye bye.